I'm a firm believer that there's no substitute for strength and no excuse for the lack of it. It takes work to achieve the goals that you set for yourself and want to achieve. Somebody call the dogs who are. Somebody call the dogs who are. I don't want to die no more. What the hell are we fighting for? I think that's where you win football games, on the practice field and in the weight room. In order to be and excel, you know, at the game of football, the basis of it all is strength, and that's the, that's the foundation of a program. I think we've gone through this whole offseason with just sort of like, hey, we have a process. We have steps that we want to take to achieve our goals. We wanted to build a sense of brotherhood in the locker room, guys getting to know each other and appreciate each other. We wanted to build our strength and mobility, and then most importantly, building a culture of competition. Every single day, the mission is to get 1% better, right? And I think they've done that up until this point. They were eager to be coached. They came in and it was like, you know, hey, you're willing to coach me, I'm willing to be coached, so we're gonna work hard for you. At the end of the day, we all have one mission, you know, and that's to support the head coach. We have to do our parts at, you know, upholding the standard that Coach Rule wants and echoing the messaging that he wants to deliver to these guys. As we planned out the winter, we planned for what Matt Jones was going to be. Working with Coach Rule over the past six years now, we figured out how to tie our programming in to what Coach Rule wants. I think great teams come from a sense of brotherhood that comes from sharing common experiences, and usually tough experiences. We're trying to build brotherhood and respect amongst the team by putting everyone through the same standard, through the same drills. Doesn't matter if you're young or old, offense, defense, starter, backup, walk-on, scholarship, none of that matters. So, how you want it, you can choose. If you can't take the heat, don't light the fuse. See, I walk in slow and ignite the room. Like fire, everything I touch, I consume. I'm getting up while y'all just snooze. While you make breakfast, man, I'm on the move. I'm the first one in and the last one out. Whoever owns the place gotta drag me out. Ah. In me, I trust. Yeah, I smell like success. This is They're very demanding must. of them, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally. They know we're gonna put them in situations where we demand the best out of them. Can you do that under fatigue? Because if you can do it now, you're gonna be able to do that in the fall. out here at Memorial Stadium. We're gonna play in the wind. We're gonna play in the snow someday. So I think it's really important we establish that early. I really did it as a test to see how they approached it. Man, they attacked it. I almost got a little bit emotional sitting there watching like, oh wow, these guys really wanna win. got out there, they saw the prowlers, and it was like, you know what, let's attack it. And it was good to see them do that, kind of throwing a little bit of adversity and uncertainty into the normal plan. They went out there and attacked it, so it was good to see. As they buy into it, as a team, you start to say, you know, we do a lot of really hard things here. We must be pretty tough. I mean, it's not about tweeting it. It's not about making a video that says we're tough. It's just about doing tough things and getting to the point where it doesn't affect you. Yes, sir. But I'm, I'm telling you, it's magic. Conditioning. Fall in love with conditioning. It's magic. One, One better. better. One, One better. better. Yes, sir. One, two, three. Four. One better. Hey! Hey! We go into what we 
called Team Commitment Week. There's team competitions every morning, you know, optional team building activities at night. It's just a great chance for us all to get to know each other, uh, not just as football players, but as people. I'm a strength coach through and through. But at the end of the day, right, like those guys are here to play football and that's what they love. If you have that respect, because you guys have done it together, if you have that confidence, like, hey, you know, we must be pretty tough. Saturdays in the fall should not be the toughest day of the year. You're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some. That's the game of football. But we don't wanna have to get ourselves pumped up for games. We wanna get ourselves pumped up for mat drills at, you know, 557 in the off season or pushing prowlers out in the snow. That should be the hardest time of year which then leads into a really hard spring ball, hard training camp, hard Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and uh, game days can, can then hopefully be a fun celebration and elite competition.